Hello everyone, this week I'm reviewing Secrets of Grindia. Before I begin, if you're interested in indie game reviews and gameplay, don't forget to subscribe. Now I know Secrets of Grindir isn't in full release yet, but I just couldn't wait to talk about it. Secrets of Grindir is an action RPG that seems to have come right out of my dreams. You play as a collector on a mission to uncover lost artifacts scattered across the world. The story is great, I love the humour and the characters, you can tell there's been a lot of love put into this. It is worth mentioning that the story isn't complete yet, but it is still really good despite this, so don't let that put you off. The dialogue's in particular are really great, there's been many a time where your talking bag sidekick can be chuckling to myself with some wisecrack or cheeky insult. The visuals are so nicely done, every sprite has such a charm to it and every animation is super pleasing. My favourite animation being when you kill one of the hogs at the start, just 10 out of 10 for that animation right there, hats off to you, well done. Secrets of Grindir's gameplay is delightful, the combat is intuitive, the spells are fun to use and the enemies are just great. The difficulty seems to fluctuate but that might just be me being able to handle some enemies and not others. Like those bees at the start oh my word those bees please stop the bees please there's a lot of crafting in secrets of grind here which surprisingly means that there's a lot of grinding who'd have thought it you can spend hours searching for materials but luckily the combat is great fun so it's not too much of a chore the puzzles are amazing they're not the hardest in the world but they're challenge enough to be entertaining that being said there was one puzzle that i struggled with that being the floating log challenge i took ages to get to the end and once i actually had i realized I'd missed a chest and this just made me pull my hair out I was so frustrated. The leveling mechanic is great, being able to play as whichever class you want is a big plus for me. There's loads of spells and loads of talents which means you can truly customise your character any which way you want, this helps each character you make feel unique. There's a multiplayer feature too which is nice as this game is one I intend to carry on playing with Adam. Now let's move on to the best bit of the game, the bosses. Oh my word, these bosses, they're just so fun, they're hard but not in an off putting kind of way so they kept me coming back for more each time I died and I did die a lot. Initially I thought it would just be a damage spam kind of deal but it's so much more than that. There's a tactic to beating every boss and it's so satisfying when you get it down. When you finish the story you can move on to playing the arcade mode. This includes a lot of bosses and enemies from the story mode so it's highly recommended to play the story first. In arcade mode you've got to progress through the floors of a dungeon, climbing as high as you can, earning gold and essence as you go. This gold can then be used to upgrade your town which is relatively empty at the start and the essence can be used to upgrade your character to make future runs easier. You also earn a score for your runs, the higher you go the higher the score will be. This contributes to a cumulative score which when high enough will unlock quests to upgrade your town further. This is a nice little addition especially as it's in early access and the story isn't yet complete. So let's move on to the rating, I'm going to give Secrets of Grindir a 9 out of 10, just shy of top marks because it's not yet complete. I will gladly be returning to this one once it's finished with an updated review to keep your eyes peeled. Secrets of Grindir is a great game and to say that when it's not in full release makes me ridiculously excited for when it's finished. Don't let the early access tag put you off, this is really a great game, make sure you go check it out. Well that's it for this review, I hope you enjoyed it, if you have any suggestions for games you want us to take a look at then drop us a comment down below and if you love indie games as much as we do don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, until next time, ta ta for now.